Aloha, everybody. My name is Robert Tuzana, Hearing Instrument Specialist and Regional Manager for Miracle Ear here in Hawaii. I'm here today to talk to you about how important hearing aids are in stimulating the brain, especially when we're not even speaking with people. Uh, every day I get to experience helping people hear better when they have challenges communicating with friends and family. Um, and then when they get their new hearing aids, they're always very excited about it. But one of the complications that we see comes from all of the noises that we hear all the time. And uh, today I just want to explain why it's so important that we rehabilitate the brain correctly and we actually wear those hearing aids even when we're not talking to people uh, because it is stimulating the brain even from just simple noises such as cars driving by or birds chirping, uh, things like that. And so when we are sitting home alone and, and uh, allowing our brain to uh, to fall into darkness, if you will, with enough hearing loss, um, the natural stimulation that we receive from hearing is what basically gives our brain entertainment and excitement. And if we're losing certain signals, then it's very likely that it is helping to accelerate the likelihood of our brain uh, deteriorating. And that is one of the biggest things that we are trying to accomplish when getting hearing aids and fitting hearing devices properly is to help the individual make sure uh, that they're giving the brain the information that it needs to stay healthy longer. Uh, some of the other concerns that are associated with degrees of hearing loss go as, as deep as high blood pressure, uh, even increased stress rates, sleeplessness. Um, a lot of things are associated with hearing loss that go much deeper than just the inability to understand speech. And so when we're looking to get hearing aids, that's one of the biggest concerns. And so again, today, I just want to stress the importance of why we should be wearing our hearing aids even when we're home alone. Um, and so uh, during these COVID times that we're experiencing, it's very hard for us to be able to get out and do some of the things that we like to do. Um, and so again, when we're at home watching television uh, or just out in the garden, you know, wearing hearing aids is just as important then as it is any other time of the day. And um, so when we're hearing, uh, I'm gonna talk about the anatomy of, of, of how we hear right now. And so when a sound is captured by our ear, it travels down the ear canal and it moves our eardrum. That's the first phase of the hearing process. And from there, the eardrum moves a thin little chain of bones called the ossicular chain and those little bones then move into the cochlea, which is the most important part of the hearing process. Inside of our cochlea, there's 30,000 little tiny hair cells. And those hair cells are what are stimulating the nerves up into the brain, and that is how we hear and process information. So hearing loss is originated in the cochlea, and it's a nerve-related issue. As noise exposure, medications that we take, the aging process starts to take its toll, those nerves begin to deteriorate. And once that happens, they do not regenerate or they do not regrow. And so the sooner that we can actually do something about the hearing loss, the better our likelihood of being able to have successful rehabilitation is going to be. And so when the auditory nerve receives the, the sounds through the canal, it goes up the auditory nerve and into the brain. And so if the signal that is being sent to the brain is not complete, then that is what helps to cause the acceleration of dementia. And so we wanna make sure that we're restoring as much of those sounds as possible. But again, with it being nerve-related hearing loss, sometimes it's not necessarily something that we can bring back in its entirety. And also with technology, all sorts of different hearing aids function differently. So it's very important to ask your healthcare provider all the right questions to make sure you're getting the proper device to help fit your needs. So again, my name is Robert Tuzana with Miracle Ear here in Hawaii. And I just wanted to say hello everybody and make sure you're wearing your hearing aids. <laughs>